Welcome back! You are watching Sliced Lime and this is our beginner commands tutorial series. Last time we learned the basics of how to use scoreboard selectors in our commands to store and retrieve scores for players and entities. To demonstrate we made a machine for making quartz block paths that we switched on and off by stepping under an emerald block and a gold block. We did this using scoreboards of the dummy criteria type. This time we're going to look at some other available criteria types and how we can use them to expand our system. Take a look at your menu and click statistics. All of the items in this list, in all these tabs, times used, times mined and so on, items used, all of these statistics can be used as criteria types for scoreboard objectives. For instance, jumps, items dropped, or why not cake slices eaten. Let's make use of the jump one. We'll add another scoreboard objective. So scoreboard objectives add jumps, and now we're going to input the criteria type. All the statistics based ones start with stat, dot, and then a name. We can hit tab to get a complete list, which sadly turns out to be many, many pages long. This also auto-completes some long thing into our command that we probably didn't want. I will put a link in the video description to the scoreboard Minecraft wiki page, which has all the information you need. For now though, let's just go with stat.jump, which is the jump statistic. If we switch our sidebar display to our new objective, scoreboard objectives set display sidebar jumps, we'll see we have no score. But if I jump, I get a score of 1. If I jump again, a score of 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. However, remember how I said the blocks execute from this block to this block. So if we stick a block on at the very end here, and use a scoreboard players set command that sets everybody's score in the jumps scoreboard objective to zero. Now I appear to have zero as a score all the time, even when I jump. However, we are setting the score to zero at the very end of this fill clock, which means that any commands we run before that in these blocks will actually see my jump score increase to one. We can use this to switch off our quartz path making machine whenever the player jumps. Let's use that as an example. Scoreboard players set at A with a target selector of score jumps min equals 1. So we're setting the score of all players with a jump score of at least 1. And which score are we setting? Well, we're setting the quartz on score and we're setting it to zero. So if we switch our scoreboard objective set to play sidebar back to quartz on, we can see that now it's off. And if I walk under this, it will be on as evident from my making of a quartz path. But if I jump, it will turn off and I no longer make a path. The list of available criteria types from the statistics and otherwise is huge. Take a minute to browse through it on the Minecraft wiki and think about how you could use that statistic to make something interesting with a command block. You now know how to use scoreboards in your commands and you know how to make fast clocks. There are only a few vital components left before you can truly master the art of command blocks. One such area is data tags. Data tags is a very complex subject and it will take us a while to learn, but we'll start with that next time. Until then, good luck with your commands and don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below if you need any help or have any questions. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.